Hey guys, welcome to your Michigan Compass. You know, they say the best time to do something is when the opportunity presents itself. And this past weekend, I happened to find myself in Charlevoix, Michigan for work. Now we did get some snow last night and it is a Sunday. So hopefully everything's still open. We can check things out. And by the way, if you're gonna stay here in Charlevoix, I highly recommend the American. It was a nice clean hotel. They have a full breakfast, hot tub and pool. Can't ask for much more. Let's go explore Charlevoix, Michigan. While Charlevoix is probably best to visit in the summertime, there's still a lot to do here year round. There's plenty of unique shops to buy gifts and various things, as well as some really good dining. And if you're into checking out the history of small towns, Charlevoix has a lot of it. There's the historic train depot, the lighthouse, and even something that they call mushroom houses. And we're going to explore all of it. All right, well, we just stepped inside the Cherry Republic store, and there's tons of cherry products here. And they even have wine tasting in the back. So you can come in here and try some different wines and see what you like. Plenty of jams, jellies, and various things featuring cherries. Even gummy bears. Well, the Cherry Republic had a lot of great things to try and sample inside. We ended up getting some cherry bacon jam and some cherry salsa. Now we're gonna head into the taffy barrel where they have old fashioned candies and maybe get some taffy for my daughter. Well, they have tons of taffy inside here lots to choose from. I was amazed at all the different flavors of taffy that they had at this location. Very unique flavors like mango chili, macadamia nut, and maple bacon. Needless to say, we didn't leave empty-handed. And inside the taffy store they have a press penny machine, so we're gonna get a press penny. There it is. We pick that design right there. Our next stop is this building here, my grandmother's table. And it looks like it's a coffee house and they also have some baked goods as well. We're gonna go in and maybe get a bite to eat. They have plenty of baked goods over in the cabinet, such as muffins, cookies, and scones. And just take a look at this beautiful mural on the wall. Looking over this direction is the drawbridge which separates Lake Charlevoix from Lake Michigan. And off in the distance there is the Weather Vane Terrace. There's the Weather Vane Restaurant sitting right in front of it. And I've heard that's a good place to eat, but we did not try that. Even with the fact that it's snowing and it's cold, there are still plenty of sailboats out on Lake Charlevoix right now. If you ever have the opportunity to come to Charlevoix in the summertime, I highly recommend chartering a sailboat and they'll take you around Lake Charlevoix and possibly out to Lake Michigan. And it's a beautiful time. I've done it before, it's been several years, but it is a fun time and highly recommended. And over here, the beach and lighthouse in Charlevoix, looking out into Lake Michigan. Out that way, Lake Michigan, and down this waterway, past that drawbridge down there, is 
is Lake Charlevoix. So as I approached, I noticed danger, do not enter, no admittance. And then saw that there's a missing section here going out towards the lighthouse. Now there's another way we can go down this way and get to the lighthouse as well. But it left me wondering what happened here. How did this section disappear or was it ever here to begin with? And then I looked down this way and I saw it. How does that happen? How does that fall off and end up into the water? It's steel and concrete. Look how clear that water is. You can see right down to the bottom. You can see all the sandbars at the bottom and the rocks. Very, very clear. So clear, you can see those rocks down there. And once again, the snow has started coming down. But here is the lighthouse. And this is definitely a newer style lighthouse all steel construction and here's the little placard for it Charlevoix South Pierhead Light and this was placed on the National Register of Historic Places 2005 and here is the other end of the pier that has been closed off. Looking back at the beach area, there is also a park over here. The beach did look like it was a bit rocky, not, uh, not a real fine sand at the shoreline. I don't know if that's just because of the time of the year. It looks a little rough, but there is also a park over there with some swings and different things to play on slides and stuff like that and I would imagine this is probably a busy place in the summertime another thing that Charlevoix is known for is these mushroom houses and what these houses are is very unique looking houses with unique looking roofs they kind of look like something out of the Hobbit check this one out What is that? This is the Thatch House. And yet another mushroom house over here. This one appears to be all stone. And look at the wall out front of the house. How cool is that? Very unique looking houses indeed. Just down this way a bit, there are a few more of these mushroom houses have that unique mushroom-like roof to them. And check out this one right here. How cool is that? This building right here in the background is the Charlevoix Train Depot. And apparently this is managed by the Charlevoix Historical Society. This particular building, although it is a train depot, according to the sign, I did not see any train tracks anywhere in sight. Well, according to the sign, there were some train tracks, as you can see from this image right here back in 1950, this depot was working and there were some train tracks running right next to it. And upon further inspection, there are some simulated train tracks right here, running right next to the building. And there's also a beach down here. 
as well as a little park, a pavilion with some picnic tables and some bathrooms. And this is known as Depot Beach. The area that we're looking out at over here, this is Lake Charlevoix. They're not gonna walk all the way down to the water's edge there as the grass is very wet. And there's quite a few puddles out there and I don't wanna get my feet all wet, but this is a very, very large lake. This is Lake Charlevoix and it stretches on quite a ways and connects to Lake Michigan just past that drawbridge that we saw earlier. One of the other unique attractions in Charlevoix is Castle Farms and they do have a gift shop and some other things. It's a very cool property. It's styled like a castle and you can have your event such as a wedding or parties or anniversaries or things like that here as well. The scenery and landscape around Castle Farms is just amazing. Take a look at this giant knight, for example. And the building itself is just amazing looking. It's like you're at a real castle. Over here, the Enchanted Forest, as it's called. And look at that dragon. It's like he's weaving his way through the lawn there. We've got a pond and a little pavilion over there. Perfect scenery if you're getting married. And just behind those shrubs, they have a butterfly garden. Also on this property is 1918 Cellars, and that is their own wine producing facility. This area serves as the welcome center, as well as their gift shop. Unfortunately, they are closed today because it is Sunday. If you get the opportunity to come out here during the week, I would highly recommend checking this out, taking a look at the beautiful landscape and enjoying the scenery. All right, well, our final stop for today in Charlevoix is going to be the Tacos and Tequila Restaurant. I've heard good things. It's a little difficult to find this place though because it's located off an alley from the main road. But here we are. It's very festive with the Christmas tree and the snowman. All right, taking a look at their menu, they have quite a bit to choose from. Plenty of different tacos at the bottom. And there's also some burrito and quesadilla options over on the right, as well as a few nacho options. We ended up getting the nacho sampler, which comes with queso, pico de gallo, verde, roja, and some guac, and it looks delicious. All right, well, our food has arrived. I've got the carne asada, the carnitas taco, as well as the Baja fish, and they all look delicious. Still have some sauces left over from our nachos, so I'm gonna dig in. And finally, to wrap up our lunch, some apple empanadas. Well guys, the food at the cantina, tacos and tequila was awesome. I highly recommend that Baja fish taco as well as the carnitas taco. Both were excellent and those empanadas were really good too. Well guys, that's gonna do it for our trip out to Charlevoix, Michigan. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to click on that compass so you can stay subscribed to future videos just like this. And remember, adventure is just a short drive away.